Hello and welcome to your 13th pre-cal class with, of course, me, your favorite summer school online teacher. And this is it. This is the home meaning stretch. This is the last week of summer school. So here we go. Let's get started. Today we're going to continue to talk about factory polynomials. Now, the last video that I uploaded last week and all the videos that I'm going to upload this week up until Thursday is going to be the material for your final exam. So now we can go back to what I was going to go to originally, which was talking about or continuing our lesson on polynomials, factoring polynomials to be exact. Today we're going to talk about factoring differences of squares and recognizing perfect squares. Okay, now we already went through the formulas in the last video before this one. I gave all the special products of binomial formulas and differences of squares and so on and so forth and perfect square trinomials. And today we're going to just work with the factoring of them, right? So the first thing that we're going to talk about is factoring differences of squares. Now, differences of squares is given to us by the formula a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. So in these two examples, we already have them in the form a squared minus b squared. We just want to factor them, right? Turn them into the a minus b times the a plus b part. Now, how do you do that? Well, we're going to look at this one. The first thing you want to do is look at a and b. So obviously this is a and this is b. Now to turn them into a minus b times a plus b, we actually have to find out and verify if they actually have perfect square roots. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and step out of camera just to make sure that we can, we're looking at it this way, making sure that nothing is out of focus. Okay. So if we want to turn this into a minus b, what we want to do is first see if these two terms have a perfect square root, which they do. So you're actually going to say the square root of 4x squared minus the square root of 25. Now the square root of 4x squared is 2x, and the square root of 25 is 5. So this is my a and this is my b, which means that this is going to be 2x minus 5 times 2x plus 5. Now, if you wanted to check your answer, you would just multiply by using FOIL. And if you get this, um, if you get your original problem, that means that it's correct. Again, I'm going to be stepping out of camera, making sure that everything looks accordingly. You can take a couple of seconds to look at the video. All right, now let's look at the second one. Again, we have, but we have a binomial and a monomial. This is actually a Z. It looks like a two, but it's actually a Z. So this would be our A and this would be our B. So what we want to do is determine the square root. So the square root of X plus Y squared minus the square root of Z. So the square root of X plus Y squared is X plus Y. So this would be X plus Y. And the square root of z squared is z. So this is actually x plus y, or x, yeah, x plus y minus z times x plus y plus z. So let me step out of camera. Again, you're going to see me doing this a lot in this video. Just making sure that everything is seen perfectly, all right? So let me actually go ahead and write this again. So what I did was I found the square root of x plus y squared, which is x plus y, the square root of z squared, which is actually z, and that means that I have x plus y minus z times x plus y plus z. Now let's see if I can write it down here, because I don't know if you guys can appreciate it from there. So it'll be x plus y, minus z times x plus y plus z. Let me step out of camera. Let me make sure that everything is working properly. And in this case, it is. So let's now move on to recognizing a perfect square. Now, the formulas for perfect squares, and let me turn the camera a little bit more towards the other side just to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing there. Perfect. Okay. So recognizing a perfect square is a squared. Um, so we have the formulas, which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equals a plus b squared, and a squared minus 2ab plus b squared equals a minus b squared. 
So the process is pretty much the same. What I want to do is I is I want to actually in, in this case I want to actually find the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term to determine who is a and who is b. So if I want to do is I want to find the square root of x squared and the square root of 9 and the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 9 is 3. Okay, so let me actually step out one more time, make sure that you can see that pretty good. Let me see if I can fix the camera just slightly. Okay, so once again, all I did was I found the square root of x squared, which is x, the square root of 9, which is 3. Now, the formula says 2ab. So how do I know 2ab? So what I'm actually going to do is just take 2, because it's part of this formula, multiply it by a, which is x. Multiply it by b, which is 3, and that equals 6x. So again, square root of the first term, which is x, square root of the last term, which is 3, and that's your a and that's your b. And to see if this is true, then I multiply 2 times a and 2 times b, which gives me my 6x. And since everything is plus, everything is positive, I know that it's actually this one. a squared plus 2ab plus b squared equals a plus b squared. So this means that my answer is actually x plus 3 squared. And again, if you multiply x plus 3 times x plus 3, it's going to give you x squared plus 6x plus 9. Looking at the last one, we have a similar situation. So actually, this is going to be a, this is going to be b, and this is going to be you know, 2 times a and 2 times b. So I'm going to find the square root of 4x squared because everything has a perfect square root and the square root of y squared. Square root of 4x squared is 2x. The square root of y squared is y. And if I multiply 2 times 2x times y, that actually equals 4xy. So what I want to do now is just look at my trinomial and realize that there's a minus sign here and a plus sign here. So this is actually in the form of a minus b squared. So what I'm actually going to do is simply say 2x minus y squared. And that is my answer. So let me step out of camera, make sure that everything is in focus, that nothing is blank or black or dark. Okay, so there's the problem again. Again. What I did, guys, just to kind of recap here, in my first example, um, this is a and this is b, so I found the square root of x squared, which is x, and the square root of 9, which is 3. Now, to get the middle part, because the formula says 2ab, I multiply 2 times a, which is 2x, and 2 times b. So 2 times x is 2x, times b is 6x. And since everything is positive, I know that's in the form of a plus b squared. I did the same thing with my second term. I look, this is a and this is b. I found the square root of 4x squared, which is 2x, and the square root of y squared, which is y. And since I realize that if I multiply 2 times um, 2x and 2 times y, I'm going to get 4xy, I realize that everything is, which is what I did here, then I realize there's a minus sign here and a plus sign here which means it's in the form of a plus a minus b squared. So I actually just said, well, that must be 2x minus y squared. And again, if I multiply 2x minus y times 2x minus y, I'm going to get my original problem. So that's it for this video lesson. Let me once again turn the camera. And I know it's been kind of weird, when you're, especially when you're your own cameraman. All right. So what are you going to do now? Once you've seen this video many times, once you've seen the previous video, you're going to go to page 34, and you're going to work on problems 77, 107, 109, and 111. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been your favorite summer school math teacher, so stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.